Hey y'all. So today is August 5th. It's my due date, but you guys know the princess made her arrival two days early, um, which is a totally long story. And I'll definitely be doing a birth story because you guys will not believe what I had to go through and what actually happened and how she got here and everything. But she is here and we actually could go home tonight because she's doing so well and I'm doing well. But um, we opted not to leave at nighttime, so we're going to leave in the morning um, after that would be our third night here. So, yeah, everything's been going good. We're going to take some pictures. Um, I posted on Instagram and let you guys know that she was here. And I was supposed to post some pictures um, last night, but I had a reaction to some of the medicine and then I was exhausted and I just needed to rest. So we're going to um, take showers and do it today. But I just wanted to show you guys her because she's sleeping. Hold on. But here's baby girl. She's knocked out. Now, she does have a matching hat to this outfit, but the hat is way too big for her head, so I just put on a different pink hat that we had. But her sound machine is a godsend, $10 on Amazon. It's been great. Um, the lactations consultant just left, and we had a session where they were helping me with breastfeeding and stuff. So she's like chilling right now and sleep, and I just ate a little bit. Ronnie went downstairs to get him something to eat and to bring me up something else because I was not satisfied with my food at all. Um, we were supplementing with a little formula just because I wasn't sure she was getting enough just from like colostrum. Oh, look. Hold on, y'all. She doesn't really need to pass it. They actually don't want me to give it to her for a couple weeks, but sometimes she gets a little bit fussy and frustrated, so I still will give it to her. And then once she falls asleep, she usually doesn't need it anymore. And she took off one of her mittens because she does what she wants. We love the Velcro swaddles from Swaddle Me. I think one of you guys got her some. And they have been a godsend because Ronnie and I suck at swaddling with receiving blankets. So we really like the swaddle me's. They're over there. The one on the pillow is one of the Velcro ones. My sister came and um, went to the gift shop. She had an appointment, um, which was at the hospital anyway. So she just, you know, bought some stuff from the gift shop and left it. Um, met Ronnie in the lobby. So we're going to try to take showers and take the pictures that I promised yesterday that I would post, take them today, and then we're going to go for like a family walk around the maternity ward just so that um, I can get more walking in and stuff like that. They said we could wheel her with us, so that'll be good. Um, but everything's going good. Um, we made her first doctor's appointment. She has a doctor's appointment on Saturday morning, and basically we're going home tomorrow morning, which is Thursday, so... Within 48 hours, they'll see her, so that's good. But she's been passing all of her exams, all her tests and everything with flying colors. Um, she's definitely had more poops and more pees than she is required to because she's technically not 48 hours old yet. She was born at 722 on August 3rd. Um, so 722 tonight, she'll be 48 hours. And she she's already exceeded like all of the stuff that she needs to exceed. So we're definitely blessed and happy about that. And she's just been a really good baby um, for these, you know, first couple of days. So, yeah, and that is Miss Reagan. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to come in and check on check with you guys. Um, but yeah, the experience was definitely one for the books. So stay tuned for our birth story because it was definitely not as planned not as thought like not anything at all everything that could have went well i don't want to say everything that could have went, went left would go left but basically you know so i'll record that whenever i'm feeling up to it but i am going to just take a break and just get into the mom life and heal myself first and then <clears throat> we'll be back i do have a vlog that's edited so i'll probably post that Maybe later on tonight, maybe tomorrow once we get home. Um, but yeah, stay tuned. But I'll update you guys more throughout the couple week throughout these coming weeks on Instagram. So if you don't follow me, you should. Um, it's my house underscore my home underscore on Instagram. But yeah, just wanted to let you guys know we're doing good and we're here. Um, so yeah, I will talk to you guys later.
So we are about to go on a family walk around the maternity suite. Her dad is pushing her. And it's just good for me to get up and walk. So that's what we're doing. He was gonna hold her, but they said she has to be in her bassinet. So we're going around slowly but surely. I feel good. I'll let y'all see me. Hold on. Huh? You don't need it? Oh. Yeah, we're just walking. Getting me some exercise. Getting me used to walking. Getting my leg strength back up. <sighs> COVID-19. Uh-oh. Oh, my baby. Oh, my baby. Y'all see Ronnie's shirt? It's a hashtag girl dad. <laughs> so, we're just walking. That's all. I got on my posh peanut um, robe. And we took some pictures earlier today. Or about an hour and a half ago. She had on her matching swaddle. But yeah, we ordered dinner, so um, she's gonna get delivered. We ordered Uber Eats, it's gonna get delivered in about 40 minutes. So we figured we'd walk, and then Ronnie's cousin is on this wing as well, a couple doors down from us. So we're gonna visit her, and then it'll be time for dinner and time for bed. We already got her dressed for bed. This is one of the onesies that me and her dad picked out from Target. She is upset, y'all. Let's calm her down. I'll talk to you guys later. Hey guys, it is what's today? Seven. Six. Today is August the sixth, and we are going home. As soon as the nurse comes and checks both our vitals for the last time, but um, we packed up all the bags and everything. Ronnie took some to the car. We have her um, Maxi Cosi Zelia Max travel system to ready all ready to go. And um, we'll put some stuff at the bottom, probably her bag and stuff. And then we have her coming home outfit ready for her. I don't want to put it on her until they check her vitals, but we just um, changed her. But you guys saw her um, hat and then her onesie or outfit that has her initials on it that her grandparents bought her. Um, and then I just have this canopy cover. Although it's hot outside, I don't know that we're going to use it, so I didn't take it off the, the pack, but just in case. Um... But yeah, and then I don't think we're going to use the uh, blanket and the headrest right now because it's kind of hot outside. So I'm just going to sip this water and wait for her to come. I left the toiletry bag. I need to put that in my bag once you brush your teeth. It's on the counter. Um, so yeah, we can throw those flip flops. It's on the floor in the trash. I just couldn't bend down. Um, so yeah, that's what we're about to do. And I'm going to fill out her. Her diaper and feeding log one more time and that's it that's what we're doing so stay tuned I'm gonna take some pictures after we get her dressed and then I'm gonna try to record us walking out or take some pictures of us walking out we'll get a nurse to do it we'll see but August 6th we're going home and it is it's 9 25 I think I gotta wait for the doctors too uh oh somebody's fussy I gotta go The day has finally come. Oh, I'm gonna adjust her hair a little bit. Once we get her in here, she's so tiny.
Right at my garage and the front door has all this stuff on it. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna try to get out the car and show y'all. Oh, nice. babe, the balloons are um custom. They have her name on them. Oh, really? Yes. Who did this? Oh my God. Brittany, Brittany did just ask me if we made it home yet, but she didn't tell me why she was asking. Oh, look at that. Oh my God. Oh. Hold on, y'all. It's a struggle. Y'all know I'm on a struggle bus. You forgot to lift your seat up, babe. But I think I got it. Ooh. No, I, I'm good. I, I got it. Yep. I made it out. Y'all, this is a struggle. He gonna get baby girl. And then he's gonna come back and unload the car later on once he get my prescriptions. Ooh, lordy, lordy, lordy. Hold on, y'all. Y'all know I'm moving slow these days. Look at my burnt up grass. Make no sense. Edible arrangement. Oh my god, look. You guys, look what somebody did. I know this is probably Brittany and I got the call. Oh my God, look at this, y'all. Huh? Baby girl's being brought inside. Ooh. I gotta make it up the first flight of steps too, y'all. Huh? This is so cute. Oh my God, oh, I didn't even see these over here. Oh my goodness. So beautiful, babe. Yeah, it was my friends. Look at the balloons. They customized them. This is so cute. And I got roses and candies and edible arrangements. And I'm actually hungry now, but I made it up the stairs. I feel like a mat truck hit me. August 7th. It's probably about 9 o'clock at night and Lani and I just took turns eating dinner. My parents worked from home over here today it's just to give us a break. So we definitely had a break. I started my pumping journey and um, Ronnie rested and, and did some things around the house as well. But now we are about to wake baby girl up because she has a doctor's appointment in the morning and um, we are going to give her a sponge bath tonight. And hopefully that'll help calm her down. I'm gonna try to nurse her, but if not, I'll just um, give her, you know, a breast milk through a bottle, and then I'll pump again before bedtime. But today was a good day. Um, my milk finally came in. I was able to pump, so that was a good day. But we're about to get started on this sponge bath, and we're gonna follow basically what we saw the hospital do with her. Um, and yeah, she's gonna be mad, but it's okay. Here she is. Knocked out on oh, mommy. <laughs> um, I'm doing well. Thank you guys for all your well wishes and everything. My recovery is still in the early phase. I still am very dependent, and that is a humbling experience as well. But I've been getting through it. We've been getting through it together, and um, not too bad. Right now, we're watching um, Dennis the Menace, and he's um, grabbing the things that we need for her sponge bath because I can't keep going up and down the stairs. but that's what we're doing and she's about to be so upset that we have to wake her up but she has a doctor's appointment in the morning so but um i will talk to you guys later i just wanted to come on here and let you guys know how our day went um tomorrow i think ronnie's parents are coming over to just kind of help out and let us get some rest and spend some time with her and then sunday she's gonna spend a couple of hours with my parents while we go to a meeting and then Monday, I think my parents are gonna come back and work from here. So we definitely have support during this time. I'm really excited um, and grateful that we do. My parents just bought us dinner as well and they showed up with breakfast this morning. And then um, his parents um, are basically giving our, us our pick for dinner tomorrow too. So that's good. But anyway, 
I will talk to you guys later. Toodles. Baby girl's first sponge bath. We're gonna use these products, Baby Dove. We got this from the hospital. Got her a washcloth and warm water, and we're gonna do it. He's probably gonna take the lead because he actually saw what they were doing in the hospital. I could not leave the hospital bed, so I didn't really see except, except the video, but I'm gonna help out as much as possible. We got her robe here, her nightgown for tonight, and then this is her hooded towel as well. So, we're about to get this together. Uh -huh. Oh, poor baby. Hey, y'all. We at Ray's first doctor's appointment. She's doing so well. She's waiting at 7.14 ounces, which is what she was weighing when she left the hospital. And baby girl has been exclusively breastfed now for two days. Um, so, that's good. And um, she was still 20.5 inches long. Her head circumference, I think she said 14 or 16 or something. I don't remember what she said. Um, but the doctor's going to come in soon. And she doesn't have to get any shots until a month after, basically, we left the hospital. So she has some time for that. Um, but we had to get her undressed so we have her wrapped up in a blanket because it's cold in here. But um, fun fact, this used to be my doctor and my brother's doctor and the twin's doctor. And now he is my sister's um daughter Brooklyn's doctor so now he's Ray's doctor too so that's a little background on that the location is good so far I like the facility we like it um it looks really nice kid friendly in here we're in the purple room so um he's gonna come in and we're gonna ask him some questions he's probably gonna ask us a lot of questions and then um hopefully that'll be it for the first initial appointment they did say we come back in one week and then we come back in one month as well so alrighty Hey y'all, happy Monday, happy August, August 10th. It is about 1.30. Um, I just filled up my bubble cup of ice water. I had lunch with my parents, they're downstairs with baby girl. Ronnie went to go get his haircut and he's just getting back. I got an Amazon order, so I got um, some, I ordered some extra breast pump um, supplies because I got tired of washing and sterilizing in between each pump. So now I have two sets. And then next week I'll order another set, so I have three sets. And then I also ordered a huge, um, well not huge, but once I put it on it won't be huge, but um, a pumping bra. Um, there's one in here that my sister-in-law gave me, but she's not as heavily endowed as I am. So I wanted to get one that fit me a little bit more comfortably. So it just got delivered, like literally just got delivered. Um, so I'm about to pump and then... Take a nap, get some rest while they have baby girl downstairs with them. So, yeah. I got this off of Amazon. I think it was like 20 bucks. It says 50. And it came with reusable breast pads as well. But, yeah. So, that's what I'm about to do. And I use the Spectra um, pump for right now. So, that's what I'm about to do. Hi, guys. I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in so long. So, today is still August the 10th. It's Monday night, it's 11.01. Ronnie and I just got finished um, watching The Shy and he asked for some more watermelon, so I'm gonna take that back upstairs to him. Um, but right now I have washed um, some bottles and some pump parts and now I'm sterilizing them. So all of you guys' gifts are being used as you can see. And as you can see, <laughs> we use everything. There's some stuff upstairs that we've been using too because we kind of have a command station upstairs in our room as well. Baby girl is taking her newborn photos tomorrow at noon so I have this bin of like all the photo props and stuff that I bought and then I have the two big props I still need to embellish them so I'll wake up early tomorrow and do that with these flowers here Ronnie brought them in the garage for me and um yeah so I'll get up early and do that while they're still sleeping 
And then I think we have to go to the grocery store or I'll send him to the grocery store tomorrow because we're going to have dinner for his birthday. His birthday is Wednesday. He'll be 34. And he said he doesn't want anything for his birthday because he has baby girl, obviously. But um, I did order him some. Hold on. I'm going to fix my, my brace I have on. But um, I did order him some clothes online and then I'm going to get him a gift card from baby girl and then um his mom is actually going to bring the birthday cards and the gift bag for me because obviously I can't really drive and go get stuff for myself so she's going to bring it over and we're just going to um put some fix on the grill have some shrimp and crab legs and then um some sides and it's just going to be his parents and his sibling I mean his sister and her kids and then my parents and my brother and his family basically so that is what we're going to be doing and uh yeah that's it that's all she wrote baby girl is fed she's swaddled has her outlet sock monitor on she's sleeping she did lose a little bit of weight she was 8.6 ounces eight pounds six ounces when she was born and then by the time we left the hospital she was 7.14 ounces we went to the doctors on Saturday. She was still 7.14 ounces, but we weighed her today at home and she is like 8.1 ounce or something. So she is gaining her weight back. So we think by the time of her next doctor's appointment, which is this Friday, she should be back to her birth weight or at least exceed it so that they could give her another heel prick test because they have to run it again, but she has to be at her birth weight. So fingers crossed that she reaches her birth weight by Friday again. I am pumping like crazy and she's eating like crazy like she's even eating <clears throat> more than the original amount that she's supposed to be eating don't get me started but um yeah so I'm about to put together one of these bottles for her now so that I can take it upstairs and put um so we've just been using the Tommy Tippy bottles and also some of the Dr. Brown's bottles that you guys got us um those are the two that we have been using she still has not really latched to me and i think it's because i introduced the bottle too early i guess um but i was afraid she wasn't getting enough so it is what it is uh nothing i can do about it now um i'm going to keep trying her to latch on me but she just does not want to do the work for it because she's used to getting the milk at a steady pace from the bottle, I guess. So, hey, as long as she's getting breast milk, it is what it is. I did want that bonding experience with her, but can't win them all, you know? You can't win them all. So, yeah, I think there's a couple bottles upstairs too. But I can put some of these on. Um, talk to you guys in so long oh my goodness it's been a while um we just been making it over here trying to get in the habit of things my parents worked from home over here again today for us and i was able to get a nice little nap in so that's probably why i have some energy right now what I'm doing right now today I felt a lot better than the other days so each day gets a little better I will say that but it's still a struggle y'all uh, wait till I tell y'all my birth story y'all y'all ain't gonna believe it like talking about more kids mm, I don't know but I didn't do hell and back um but she's here she's healthy she's beautiful I love her so much that's my poo poo I love her I love her I love her just doing mom stuff but so that's what I'm doing I need to um, do a load of her laundry tomorrow I don't have to do it right now so that's 
test the positive for me. The sterilizer is going, it usually runs for five minutes and then it cools down and then I can open it. So that's what I'm waiting on now. I can only go back upstairs one time, so I'm gonna take the watermelon and the pump bag. I already have on my pump bra, it's just easy for me to wear this. It's like as a sports bra, or it's actually a nursing bra technically, but you put the pump on here as well. So it's a hands-free pump bra, got it from Amazon. And I also ordered some Nadella um, pump wipes because you guys told me to get some cleansing wipes because I said I was tired of washing and sterilizing in between pump sessions. So you guys said I could use those in the refrigerator or something like that. So I did place that order on Amazon today. They'll be here on Wednesday. And what else? I think that's it, guys. I think that's it. <laughs> so I will talk to you guys later. Bye.